what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to talk about the chucky tv series that we know is supposed to come out sometime next year we were supposed to get it this year but this freaking pandemic is just ruining everything for us horror fans and a lot of other things that i know we all were looking forward to this year everything going to these streaming platforms hbo max trying to get all these subscribers with the wonder woman 1984 release this upcoming december but jumping straight into chucky um recently there's been a few things going on and as you saw in the thumbnail two things we're going to talk about we're going to talk about secret filming that might be occurring and also potential character names that have come out or not come out or been announced but just potential character names based off of a recently leaked pilot sheet supposed pilot sheet for the first episode of chucky and I know a lot of us cannot wait for this series to debut next year. We know it's going to be brought to us and airing on the Sci-Fi Network and the USA Network. Today's bit of news is coming from one of the producers who's involved with the series. And he's done a lot of other things for the Sci-Fi Network. And I know a lot of us also have like our speculations already on where, what direction we'd like to see going. Or what direction we would like to see this series take the franchise. And what we'd like to see happen with Chucky. Characters we'd like to see come back and of course reuniting with glenn and glinda hopefully but this bit of news is coming to us from nick and tosca it's not news that he announced or anything it's just things that have been going on on his social media accounts and this all of this was brought to me actually by a twitter follower um shout out to chucky fever 2020 really appreciate you always coming to me with chucky news but nick and tosca on his uh instagram account apparently he posted he's been posting a lot of unique images this is the image that has some people speculating that this is a this is them filming the chucky tv series now there's no actual confirmation of course whether or not this is true but he's also been posting things on his snapchat apparently and it looks like there's they might be filming things at an in and out burger so a lot of people are speculating that this could be them filming the tv series i don't follow nick and nick and tosca on social media but apparently he posted that image on instagram so that has people speculating that they might be filming something re related to the chucky tv series now my personal opinion is they could in fact be doing like establishing shots or maybe just shooting certain scenes but they're not in full-fledged production yet of course i feel like maybe what they're doing is scouting maybe estab doing some establishing shots and then of course they'll regroup and go into full production sometime next year or they could in fact just be secret secretively filming this tv series and we aren't aware of it because it's being done of course secretly but i honestly think they could just be doing establishing shots or just shooting certain scenes that don't require chucky's presence but we know that we are expecting to have brad dorf back in the role of chucky he's already been confirmed we know that Don Mancini is involved. We know that it's going to be continuing from the Cult of Chucky film. We know that at the end of that last film, spoiler, if you haven't seen that movie, go ahead and turn the video off. But we know that Chucky finally got into a human body. He got into Nika's body. Him and Nika, he got into Nika's body. Nika got into the car with Tiffany. And in the back of the car, we had the Tiffany doll, which it looks like, because we, we know in that film, it established that Chucky managed to split his soul in half, and he inhabits all these dolls, and I'm guessing Tiffany got in on that, and that's how the Tiffany doll returned, and you know, they just ride off into the sunset, so we're hoping to reconnect with all of these different things, different characters, different aspects, and continuing from what, where we left off with Cult of Chucky, we know that there appears to be a chance that we could be revisiting, or going into rather for the first time in this franchise the childhood the childhood neighborhood for charles lee ray could be exploring his backstory a bit more could be exploring his childhood and just getting to know some darker secrets about chucky about charles lee ray how he ended up in the position position that he is today how he might have also came in contact with this voodoo practices and all of these other things how he might have became the lakeshore strangler we know that our titular protagonist is supposed to be a member of the lgbt community from recent reports and other things that have come out about the show i know a lot of people are hoping that kyle will make an appearance we know she returned at the end of cult of chucky in a special cameo appearance a lot of different things that we're all hoping and expecting for this show some things that they're saying that we can't expect or that we could see happen for the first time would involve chucky and dreams with chucky so like chucky's dreams factoring into his lore and us exploring his backstory a bit more and learning more things about this 
iconic slasher character that has been around for over three decades at this point. You know, honestly, I want this TV show to be a perfect blend of the first Child's Play, Child's Play 2, and Curse of Chucky, and Bride of Chucky. Bride of Chucky being the one that has the most effective comedy for me, and in my honest opinion, Seed of Chucky, Throwaway, Cult of Chucky, felt very meh about that movie. I love the Chucky franchise, but like a lot of the things are just very hit and miss. But jumping into this image here, now this is coming to from your pal Chucky on, on Instagram. Now, if you look at this and read some of the things here, you see that his images that he was posting or that they were posting, rather, they got taken down apparently by Universal Pictures. We know Universal Pictures is involved with the Chucky franchise. They distributed most of the recent films. Um, apparently, this individual posted some, some script pages that had to do with the pilot. And they were taken down because of copyright infringement or something regarding copyright. So apparently there's some truth to some of the things that I'm about to talk about. So like I mentioned, we know that the lead character is supposed to be a part of the LGBT community. And according to the script sheet that I saw that was sent to me by Chucky Fever 2020 on Twitter. Again, shout out to you. Don't know if these names are official or anything, but it looks like some names that we could potentially have for some characters in this film or in this TV series is going to be Jake Weber, who is a 14 year old and he has not had the best life. Uh, but he gets excited, of course, once he sees Chucky at this yard sale, because we know they've also talked about how a vintage doll will arrive at a yard sale and then the town's secrets are explored and revealed. And then another character that apparently we could have is Mrs. Jolly, who is hosting this yard sale that Jake ends up finding Chucky at. So two character names that we could potentially have. We could have Mrs. Holly and then Jake Weber, who is a 14 year old. Now, I know a lot of people are instantly probably going to be thinking to themselves, what is a 14 year old doing with a Chucky doll? I'm thinking the same thing. That's why I'm like, I have to see what what rhyme or reason would a 14 year old boy want with a chucky doll now other than the fact that maybe he's not necessarily playing with the doll maybe it's just some type of attachment he he finds with it and he because again it says that apparently he didn't have the best life i'm not going to go into any too many other details other than that and it's a it could be a possibility that jake weber is is the main character that we will be following in this franchise or in this tv series rather he could be the main character that is this that is part of the LGBT community who ends up with Chucky and he could be the new Andy replacement for this TV series and he could be the character that we're following for the first season and maybe many other seasons and the things that happen with him could lead to Andy getting involved um, we know of course we could expect Nika to get involved at some point Tiffany maybe Kyle all of them making their way to this town where this Chucky doll is calling causing all of this havoc because we know in the end of Cult of Chucky the actual Chucky that we're familiar with was still being tortured by Andy uh, he sent Kyle to finish the finish the job so but there's still all these other Chucky dolls out there because he split his soul in half now, I know a lot of people don't even like that route that the series is taking at this point, but honestly, I just want a good TV series. I want this series to be very well made. I want us to go back to the horror roots of Chucky. I want us to be able to have fun with this show, and I hope that there's some truth to these names. Hope there's some truth to a lot of the things that they're saying we are going to get in this TV series. I hope they get to do everything they've talked about. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Do you think they are secretly filming this show? And what do you think about those two character names? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.